What is up, guys? Today I have freaking big news. Um, uh, for you VHS collectors out there, I'm going to uh, announce the leaderboards. And there's a reason behind why I'm making the leaderboard, but first I'm going to explain how the leaderboards work. So, how the leaderboards work, uh, it's going to cover Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT VHS uh, movies. Uh, for all three series, um, edited and uncut versions of all sagas, series, blah blah blah, movies. Uh, how it actually works is uh, each tape you get, you get one point. Uh, so if you have, let's say, the one movie, it's one point. If you have that tape sealed, it's an extra point. So that's two points if you have it sealed. Uh, if you have box sets, let's say it's a five tape box set, you get, you get five points for having the tapes you get one point for having the box. Let's say you have the five tapes sealed, but then the box, but not sealed, you have five points for having the box. I mean, five five points for having the tapes, five extra points for having those five sealed, and then a point for the box. Now, if you have the box sealed, you get five for having the tapes, five for having it sealed, one for having the box, and another point for having it sealed. So, you do the math, I, and, uh, I will be verifying this all in uh, the Discord I'm announcing right now for Dragon Ball VHS collectors. Um, you join that, uh, you direct message me, talk to me, uh, you send me all the pictures of your collections and all your tapes, and I will count them and tally up your points so there's no fibbing because people could lie and say, oh, I got max points. Uh, pictures that must be included are, must be close enough to see visually, see if it's sealed or not. Uh, Box sets, I have to see the bottom of the box set so you can't like put an uncut box on an edited saga. I have to verify all that. If you can't do that, then I'm not going to credit you for uh, entering the leaderboard. So uh, I'm going to go in more depth in a minute here when I, when you see my face disappear. The top five people who uh, get on this leaderboard will receive something I've been working on for a while as a motivation factor. I'll get it out real quick. The top five on the leaderboard will receive a great Saiyaman Saga uncut box set. Uh, I'll show better pictures uh, in a minute here. Uh, but this is just this is actually the edited version I printed for myself. Uh, I will be giving away to the top five uh, the uncut great Saiyaman box set. But uh, so the top five will receive that and. Uh, so, for, as of right now, I am on the top of the leaderboard, so technically that means there's only four other winners that can receive this box. Uh, my friend is also, he's at second right now, so unless me or him get surpassed, there's only three winners that can be uh, chosen from. Which, I mean, that could very well possibly be someone that has more points than me. Uh, anyways, I'm going to go into more depth. Uh, I've counted my collection and my friend's collection. Uh, I'm at 579 out of 600 points. Um... He's at 503 out of 600 points. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go into more detail of how to count and prepare how your point system works. Uh, I'm going to go to my computer and edit that. Okay, so how the point system actually uh, works is for each tape you get, you get one point. So, let's say you have uh, the Red Ribbon Army Saga, all five tapes, you get five points. Now, if you have those five sealed, you get ten points. Because you got the five for having the tapes, five for having them sealed. That's the max points you can get for the Red Ribbon uh, Saga Uncut. Uh, now for box sets, you're going to have, let's say for the, uh, we'll do Bobbity Uncut Saga. So let's say you have the four tapes for the Bobbity Uncut Saga. You have the four tapes for Bobbity, you get four points. If you have those four tapes sealed, you get eight points. Four for having the tapes, four for having them sealed. Let's say you have uh, the Bobbity Saga with the box set and used tapes. So you get four points for having the four tapes. One point for having the box. That's five points. Uh, if you have the tapes sealed and the box, you get four points for having the tapes, four points for having the tapes sealed, and one point for having the box. That is nine points. So now let's say you have the box set sealed. You get four points for having the tapes, four points for having the tapes sealed, one point for having the box, and one extra point for having the entire box sealed. So that's a total of 
10 points right there, I believe. Yep, 10 points for the Bobbity Socket, and you just do the same for every single box set. You do the number of tapes in the set, plus the box, plus box, box sealed, and plus or tapes sealed. Uh, and that goes for every box set, including the movie sets. Uh, sing, single tapes, like I said earlier, one point for the tape and one point for sealed. So, uh, One more thing to note, um, there's a total of 597 points you can get if you have everything sealed. But you get three extra points if you have the entire uh, Dragon Ball series. If you have every single tape, sealed or not sealed, or box setless, um, as long as you have every single tape, every individual tape, you get a whole point for having the complete, uncut, and edited uh, sagas and movies. Uh, same for Z and GT, you get one point if you have every single tape in each series. So that brings the total to 600 points. And, um, yes, um... And that is how you score your points. Also, uh, one more thing to note: the uh, the arrival uh, clamshell that comes with a box with the figurine that is also counted as a box set. So that set can get three points. You have uh, point for having the tape, point for having the box, and point for having the tape sealed uh, because that set was never released for a box seal on it. So you can only get three points. Oh, uh, that is also counted in the uh, leaderboards as every single tape so I think that's about it uh, I will show some pictures of that set just because a lot of people don't have it uh, anyways that should be it for uh, scoring points okay and one more thing this is the entire list it will also be in the description so you can download the list and uh, see what you need to buy or what you have uh, I'm gonna just show a little bit of the list right here is it's, it's a lot to take in like I said it's 268 tapes but um just take a look at it, download it, print it out, study it, see what you need. And uh, as you can see, uh, uh, Curse of the Blood Rubies, History of Trunks, Edited and Uncut are counted twice in the set. Also, the Arrival Clamshell that I just talked about, uh, they're counted twice because um, in the movie sets, I, I, I like them separate, so we're going to count those twice. Uh, and just read the list, you understand. If you have any questions, just contact me on Discord, link in the description. One last thing, uh, do not fret about um, counting this yourself because I will have to count it for you uh, because I don't feel like people cheating. Uh, people are definitely going to cheat if I let them count. Uh, anyways, you have to submit the pictures, photos to me uh, on Discord. Uh, have the pictures clear enough for me to see if it's sealed or not. Uh, box sets, you got to send the picture of the front and the bottom uh, so I can see if it's uncut or edited so you don't swap boxes out and cheat. Uh, and one more thing, uh, the contest will end on next Saturday which is the 12th uh, so go ahead and enter as fast as you can because there's not going to be a lot of people entering this contest um, so if you don't have a great collection um, you can still be top five easy because uh, not a lot of people are collecting this so just jump on it and heck you might win the set uh, good luck oh, here's the rest of the video uh, one more thing I would like to say is uh, yes I am working on a lot more stuff I'm gonna keep in the dark right now I'm I've been working a month and a half on everything so far uh, a lot of stuff I can't say right now uh, there are a few people that know but yes I am working on a cell games uncut and edited box set uh, great salmon editing uncut box sets obviously uh, and you everyone will be able to purchase these in the next few weeks just keep keep people keep posted uh, the price for the great salmon box set right now is 75 bucks uh, yeah, it, 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 it's expensive to print and while the labor and everything that goes into it because I have to fold it and all that good stuff. Uh, but yeah, I will be announcing the release date very shortly. Um, uh, and also I have in the works uh, Dragon Ball GT VHS box sets. And as of right now, I have not started on Dragon Ball box sets, but I have, but I plan on making the Dragon Ball box sets. I have a few more things I want to do before I get there, but I'm very close to finishing all of this so just keep posted as of right now focus on great Sandman sagas uncut and edited and cell games uncut and edited so just stay tuned next few weeks and obviously I took inspiration from the DVD box sets for the cell games and the uncut sagas and uh, and uh, for same for GT for the DVD box sets I took inspiration from those to transfer them to your VHS's um, also I will I am making the DVD sets for 
Captain Ginyu, Frieza, and Trunks saga. They never had a box set for the DVDs. So if you have the DVDs and you're interested in that, I will be releasing those very shortly as well. I have a lot of things in production, but just hold on for a few more weeks. Now we'll release them with the prices, info, and everything. So anyways, uh, good luck. And uh, join Discord in the link below. And we'll get to chatting in there. Uh, take pictures of your collection and I'll see you on the leaderboards if you make it. Good luck. Peace, bros.